Hi guys, this is Arif from TechShare. Today I'm going to show you um, a series of, uh, this is the starting video. So I'm going to cover learning side code by examples. So that's gonna be uh, five or six videos. So the, my, my intention is here uh, to, to give you some context about um, if you wanna develop or implement an enterprise solution using side code, then how are you going to approach that? So if you cover these six or seven videos that I'm going to complete under this series, then you will be able to complete, uh, you will be able to, uh, you know, develop a complex solution using Sitecore. So for that, based on the experience I got, what I found is you need to definitely need to understand the Helix principle and how you want, uh, how you, how you uh, want to go with that. Number one and number two is um, definitely you also need to know how you want you, you are going to implement your own component using Helix solution, and then how you uh, you also need to implement Sitecore Commerce as well. So if your uh, solution or your if you want to integrate uh, Commerce functionality in Sitecore, Sitecore has uh, Sitecore Commerce, so that would be really helpful if you if you know Sitecore Commerce and how you integrate that Sitecore Commerce into your solution that will give you a lot of you know flexibility or benefit along the way then you can actually develop a very big enterprise solution as well and then under that sidecore commerce how you uh, want to um, implement um, cart functionality uh, obviously using sidecore commerce that would be another video and then how you actually extend a feature in sidecore commerce or you can say how can you add your own custom feature in sidecore commerce that will be another part that is really really important as well and then there would be obviously checkout and payment integration with Sitecore and Sitecore Commerce. And then finally, or I can say last but not least, integrate third-party service in commerce so that you can leverage the functionality. You can you know send data or this kind of thing to any third-party service out there. Um, and that will definitely give you a lot of you know benefit in terms of um, your scalability or you can say the, the application uh, you know scale. Okay. Enough talking. So now, what I am going to, um, you know, show you guys is understanding Helix because this is really important. If you don't understand Helix, and if you don't uh, install your Sitecore in Helix, I'll show you uh, later on. Then you will be really, really, you know, step behind. I would say you will not go forward because Helix is something really, really important if you want to implement enterprise Sitecore application. Okay, so something about me is uh, my name is Arif. I have a YouTube channel. Probably you would have already known that because you are uh, seeing this video there. So this is TechShare. So I just recommend you please subscribe my channel so that you get all the video that I'm going to publish if you are really interested in this uh, domain. And then also my uh, LinkedIn profile is there as well. So I will put these details in the description so that you can you know, have a look at that. Okay, so understanding Helix. So yeah, Helix is a, some sort of pattern or practice implemented by Sitecore. So uh, when Sitecore first released, then Sitecore is really powerful tool, really, really powerful. It is really, you know, um, it supports uh, a, a heaps of, you know, uh, extending point, ex extension point, I would say. Through that, you can be able to implement a very big solution. So to keep that in mind, Sitecore, um thought okay uh, because a lot of people were complaining or you can say uh, you know experiencing problem uh, because they did not consider anything such helix pattern or practice that i am going to say you now so they typically use that you know monolithic approach where they ha would have different different layer like business logic layer data logic layer and then they implemented a very big solution then what they found is I know any time if they want to wanted to change anything in the another feature or any feature the other part of the feature broken this kind of thing frequently ha started happening so keeping that in the mind sitecore introduced this helix so what is helix is basically helix will uh, you know allow you you to modular you know modularize your your feature so um you can now piece your uh, you know feature or you can say your project your foundation um in a separate separate individual project and separate separate component and uh, uh, your feature will be really really 
loosely coupled so there won't be any strongly coupled thing and that way uh, it would be really helpful if you want to change anything in any feature that's not going to break to the other feature but helix is kind of in a single word i would say helix is some sort of pattern practice and standard and what is habitat so habitat is no longer supported by sitecore so previously what happened you know sitecore you know uh, introduced this helix principle and they also implemented that pre that principle in a solution called habitat and there was always confusion that what is habitat and what is helix so that's why so what they did is if you see if you're still using sitecore 8 onwards or even uh, you know lower version of 8 then you could definitely use habitat so if you open that habitat um, repository so this is the habitat, habitat repository you can see it says the repository is read only right now and it is no longer maintained so what is going to happen if you want to implement this one then sitecore introduce the sitecore helix examples so sitecore helix now they call it helix pattern and principle and then the implementation of that is sitecore helix so there won't be any habitat in the future so don't be confused about that awesome so now what are helix examples so there are a couple of examples they provided sitecore provided basically so if you see here these examples are uh, basic helix basic company helix franchise company and helix corporation so they are basically some implementation standard implementation or you can say some kind of you know uh, heads up so that you can jump into your development so what, what is recommended by sitecore is you can take any of these and then you can install that in your sitecore platform and then you will see all the examples you will see something so it is not something from the scratch but you will see something working and something implemented already by sitecore and then what you need to do is you need to modify along the way or you need to just add your own thing there you just need to make sure that the, you are maintaining the standard so that way it would be really helpful for you guys just to start working with sitecore you know towards a very big enterprise solution because you don't need to start from this crust but you will you will get something from sitecore so that is that is really really very helpful i'm going to put all the details as well in the description so that you can actually go there and copy paste or you can say click anything okay now i'll tell you why helix so there would be some sort of you know uh, discussion about this now so you will see a lot of uh, different different discussion about why we need helix and what is the benefit of helix architectural overview of helix so yeah from my practical experience what i found is uh, there are a couple of you know really really important benefit you're gonna get if you use helix the number one is the starting point for developers so as i already told you so if you want to develop an enterprise application then you will get automatic alerts out of the box if you install helix so that would be really good for your starting point in terms of development and then second is obviously the component based development so non monolithic approach of development so it is kind of a micro service kind of approach so your you know your um, whole application will be divided into some small chunk of module module and then small chunk of features completely independently running and then you know there won't be any dependency so only that particular you know feature might depend on maybe some foundation layer but obviously the dependence would be very less and that way you know there would be less breaking possibility and also the deployment uh, you know pipeline is going to be very very easy so if you want to deploy that would be really really easy and change management will also be very very easy so this is the very last point is change management that i already told you okay now if you see the module modular architecture so the modular modular architecture is something like this so you will have your top layer uh, you know consist of different modules and then your middle layer is there and then the the bottom layer so all actually uh, consist of different different modules and in terms of layers if you consider this one as layers the very top layer is called project layer and uh, the middle layer is called feature layer and the bottom layer is called foundation layer okay and the dependence is really important dependence is downwards so project layer can only depend on features and feature layer can only depend on foundation so there won't be any horizontal dependency means 
here um, this top layer this module and this module and this module so there won't be any dependency amongst them but they they can depend here on the module uh in the in this bottom in the in the second layer or you can say in the middle layer and this layer this layer is called the feature layer feature layer can only depend on this foundation layer i think this is quite clear and then installing your helix solution okay now I'll, I'll jump into the main installation part of the helix solution so that we can start working with that you know examples or you can say the video series so today is basically the, um, this one i'll focus more so if you go this um, site called github then you will land with this page and if you go this installation then it will briefly explain what is going to do what is uh, what we actually need to do so uh, just don't forget about this prerequisite so you need to install skills sql server and apache solar uh, if you already have installed uh, 9.12 or 3 then you would have already got this now solar so there won't be any solar dependency you just need to grab the path and the service name etc and then the network framework there won't be any dependency for that as well so i am not a very fan of this tds approach so i always use this um, uh unicorn approach so you just need to clone this repository or download it i downloaded already and i put it here uh, helix examples master okay and then you just need to go dev.sitecore and you, you just need to take this sitecore 9.3 revision this revision 003498 and also you, you also need this license file as well so what you need to do is you need to put everything here in this install asset directory so basically this is my uh, this is my zip file 9.3 sitecore platform and my license file and once you install this uh, sorry run this install.psi ps1 then that will eventually install your sitecore and also it will take the helix as well so it will first install sitecore and then it will also install the helix solution so it will actually give you or prompt you different different uh, you know choice that you can make so it will give you choice of which kind of examples you are going to install so it will give you basic or franchise or helix corporations you can select one of these and then it will also ask you um, the, the approach are you going to take that tds approach or unicorn approach so you can also select the unicorn and then what is happening is once you and that that went really smoothly because previously i struggled a lot when you know i was developing site core in different versions or every time i stuck in some some areas and then i had to do a lot of work and investigation kind of thing but this time it went really really smooth i really appreciate uh, you know if you uh, i mean i really appreciate if you use this one so I, I really want to recommend you to use this one as well and um, i really thank to sitecore because they did a lot of lot of work all right so in terms of the helix principle if you expand um the project because once you install successfully that uh, uh, site code and helix then in that folder in that uh, folder examples you will see all these different examples so i have installed this helix unicorn one and if you open that one then you're gonna see uh, these different layers already have implemented properly so it has the feature foundation and project so project layer is the very top uh, layer where you will only see the skeleton of your project means your layout file so in the layout file you will see it actually inject all the different placeholders so that you can put your different features on it and then it has the CS, js file css file and different app config in the app config it will give you the the site definition here so that you you have your uh, website running in the is so that is basically it the project layer and in the feature layer so all these different different feature you would see here uh in this for example maybe uh, in the main container or placeholder you would have different different feature in the footer you might have another feature in the header you might have another one so those will be injected um or you can say you know you will glue together uh all of this thing uh later on from the sidecar content tree but yeah the feature implementation would be here so all the feature for example the um cs html file or you can say the view view rendering would be part of the feature 
So any promo card related features, this is kind of a, um, for example, this basic content, they put all the small, small thing inside of a special folder called basic content. And it has all the small, small, uh, you can say view rendering. But interestingly, it has the feature called navigation. And you will see this is a, basically a new, completely new entire project. So this is the magic of Helix. So Helix will always give you a website. So here, this navigation, and uh, you can see here, the navigation has a certain view rendering, footer and header, and uh, corresponding navigation definition, you will see inside the layout file as well. So for example, this is the feature. It has different feature, and foundation is that. And foundation will simply give you some helper class and some sort of you know utility class that might do some sort of functionality, common functionality for all of your features. And if you expand the content tree, then you're gonna see this content tree has this, uh, first of all, this template. And in the template, obviously, it has these different layers, foundation, feature, and project. So in the project, you will see it has different, different top level kind of thing so home page home page doesn't have anything simply just the home page definition or you can say data template and this is the page and details page and product page so all the page but inside that page the different different feature will come from uh, this feature in the feature for example it has a products and in the product it is itself has a product feature and product feature has some certain functionality or certain rendering so if you also expand this rendering as well then you will see different different layers so for example in the project you would have nothing here because project layer is already you know contain the the layout file so the layout itself has a foundation feature nothing has but project has because project has this layout so here you should see the layout actually refers to this layout file uh this layout Okay, cool. I think that's quite clear, right? And then obviously your feature, um, all of this feature, so you will have your uh, rendering here inside the feature. And then once you compose your uh, page, for example, once you compose your page, for example, the home page, or you can say the product page, then in the presentation details, Okay, so this, this layout, this default layout, this is part of your project. So project doesn't have anything else, but it leverages uh, to add all the features. So that way you can actually add your different, different feature here, like this product list, right? So this is product list. This is part of your feature. Really interesting. So. You know, so there is no project, uh, sorry, there is no business layer or data layer, but it has a different website, independent website. And then that website will be pushed to the, for, you know, for Sitecore platform and will contribute maybe some uh, rendering or some template or maybe something here. And then what you need to do is you need to compose by yourself and, uh, you know, Okay, so I think it's already enough talking. I have made a lot of discussion already. And uh, let's jump into the component development in the next video. So before that, I'll tell you, or uh, I will request you subscribe my channel, press the bell button so that you don't forget. Um, you'll always be notified. And then, yeah, each week I'm, I'll try to publish a video about that topic. And uh, that way, I'll complete the end-to-end -end kind of, you know, integration, or you can say end-to-end -end solution of... Uh